while this is going on real quick, let me uh, introduce what we're doing real quick. Uh, I'm, I'm not done with the Pokemon game. I'm, I'm done with that. Basically, Game Hell, if you're new to Gatorbox or if you haven't caught the Game Hell streams we've done in the past, Game Hell is a thing we do where we put in like a compilation of games or we go through a library of some sort and we play games for about five to seven to ten minutes apiece. We get a taste for it and we go on to the next one. We kind of just kind of go through them rapid fire. Uh, lately, we've been mining the 100 great games for Windows XP Collection, also compatible with Windows 98, by Global Star Software. We've done a few streams of this. Uh, unfortunately, I, I haven't posted any of the videos yet, but uh, there's some surprisingly good games on this collection, and there's also some amazingly terrible ones. So we're gonna go through the list, and we're gonna we're gonna play a few of them. And that's how we're going to end the stream out, because goddamn was that Pokemon game terrible. This CD contains, like, the entire collection of Marath games, which I thought was fantastic. Okay, we played, I, we did look at Zillions. Spoiler alert, there's 27 here. The subject of the game is this. The space garbage ship patrols the space. Okay, that checks out so far, I guess. We're good. His object is to his object is to shoot all the asteroids located in the playing area. After all the asteroids on the current level are shot down, the garbage ship warps to the next level. There are too many levels in the game. <laughs> I forgot to mention that whoever wrote the descriptions for this collection of games is a fucking genius. I love this person. I I hope wherever they are right now that they're just that they're that they're doing good because this has made me laugh so many times <laughs> the trash man i come i throw i throw I, I throw trash all over the ring and then i start putting garbage in my mouth and then i start eating garbage that's what he says it's at 100. I mean, if it's not at 100, don't tell me it's at 100, okay? If it's still doing something, put it at like 95 and ease it in. This is the one thing that pisses me off the most about old software. That it's like, 100, I'm like, uh-uh. I don't think so. Trash killer. Oh, nope, it's the... Oh my god, it's... Shit! Slow down! Okay. Yeah, look at that! It's asteroids, all right. Oh my god, and the, the ship, like, turns like a car. I'm not used to this. I'm used to the ship, like, turning in place as it drifts. I can't show Star Wars Episode 9 yet. Oh no, it's about, it's, I really subverted your expectations. It's a, it's a game about family. Fucking, come on, man, you spawned me right there. On top of the, the trash, the trash droid. So if you ever really, you know, if you needed an introduction as to what Game Hell was, crappy asteroid games made for, made for Windows 98, that inexplicably appear on a Windows XP compilation of shareware? That's where we're gonna be. Well, that's... Trash Man, whatever the hell this game was called. Yeah, Marley, I when, it, when I die, I think it pops up and says, Problem. I'm the Trash Man! I scored 399 points. That's it. That's all we get. I'm. Let's space again. Do I hit enter? Do I hit shift? Do I hit this? Do I hit alt F4 to close this goddamn game? The winged warrior has been summoned for another mission. He has been called to assist allies on a neighboring planet. An evil emperor has taken control of the planet, and a small resistance has asked for help in regaining their planet. Wait a minute, this looks like- okay, wait. 
this this game looks like it was made by the same dude who did the Modern Warfare game. This is like this is like the same the same thing. The same kind of window back on the medieval planet. The whole planet is just medieval. The whole planet. A creature had plans of his own for the alien planet. He saw the disorder as an opportunity to rule. War while wars raged, he traveled to the alien planet and used an invent and used an invention to begin building an underground army. <laughs> Okay, so the archer the archer says the king awaits your arrival. He is in the forest. I mean, right I mean, right off the bat, we've got some good shit down here. You found a treasure box containing 50 gold. Crack it open. Found a treasure box containing 50 gold pieces again. Do I get like a sword or something? Do I get a battle? Like, they really just copy pasted. You couldn't find like an algorithm to give me some type of like random, seemingly random gold. 50. That's what it's gonna be. That's what we got. Oh. Every single chest. What's up? Follow the bright stars to find your way to the red planet. Yeah, okay. Your spacesuit is on the ship. Without it, you would not be able to survive in the planet's atmosphere. Your suit is equipped with an arm cannon that emits energy beams. Am I Mega Man? The okay, the king says, The alien resistance needs help. Go to the red planet and locate their leader. Your ship is waiting. Climb aboard. Oh, we just walk into it. The winged warrior journeys out into space to find the red... Oh, come on. <laughs> follow the... Okay, it said follow the bright stars. That's what I'm doing, but, like... They don't lead you anywhere. Like, are they... Oh, my, are they teleporters? Okay, hang on. No. I'm a Roomba? Oh. Okay, so I have to go to this star specifically. That's good game design. The one that looks like all the other ones. Thank you, Necros, for the Twitch pennies. <laughs> There's the red planet, you guys. One of these dumb stars is bound to get us there eventually. This one, all the way out here? Yeah. The winged warrior lands on the red planet. He sets out to find the rebel lead. I mean, I gotta give him cr Oh, wow, we're in a... Okay, I didn't mean to go in here. I gotta give the, whoever made this credit. He looks like... Alright. I don't like it. I've got a freeze ray attachment for your arm cannon. Would you like to buy it for f 1500 No, I can't afford that. It's a little too luxe for me. I prefer the uh, good old Mega Buster. Do you like to rest, recharge, and sit? Yeah, sure. Oh, wow, I can save my game. Well, let me... Well, we gotta be Poop Town. I don't know if I spelled that right. Poop... Poop Town, the above file name is invalid. Well, don't... don't tell me. Is it because I put an extra... is it... Oh, it needs an eight character thing. There's an... there's an I in there. Wow, when was this game made? Your game has been saved and you have been recharged. Yeah, thanks, buddy. If you push on the side of the clock, you'll find the secret entrance to the Rebel Hideout. Stand beside the clock and press your arrow key. Okay. Your arm cannon's power will be reduced when you use it. The amount is reduced depending on what... Yeah, okay. I understand the concept of the ammunition. Okay, let's go behind the clock. Yeah, there, look at that. We got some silver chest. 50 gold? Thousand gold. We can definitely we can go get that freeze beam now. Shit, dude. Glad you made it here. Our first target is an airbase north of town of Phobos. 
You need to cross the bridge. When asked for an ID, use 6794. I might remember that. Oh, yeah, well, that's 6794. Oh, God, hang on. Can't use the numeric keypad. Yeah, of course I can pass them. Oh, shit, what is this? There we go. Now we get to we get to fight. Okay. Ladybug Bot. So we're fighting Tentamushi from BattleBots. Hit him with the sword. Hit him with the cannon. Hey, I have the Plasma Blaster. Hit him with that. Oh, wow. That burned up a lot of energy crystals. <laughs> exactly half. So that's, that's what the combat's like. You have to walk up and initiate combat. <laughs> you don't just get random encounter battles, I guess. You just kind of we just kind of do this. Uh, definitely gonna whip out the uh, the the cannon here. Man, I might die. Okay. So I I take it we gotta go back and recharge now. We managed to kill three guys. And we're already out of out of health. So, oh man, that's that's rough. This is the guy we take a nap with, right? I mean, this is an okay game given the time. I, it's not something that I would just make fun of and tear apart. I'm. It's not good, but I'm enjoying it. I get it. Let's see what the green guy is. It's a stink bug bot. All the these are all bug bots here. So that, all, that also recharged our crystals, I think. Hit crystals? I don't have crystals. Okay, well, I, fine. You know, it doesn't matter. So we we would have to go back and recharge again now. I really don't want to keep doing the back and forth RPG thing on the stream. So uh, let's uh. Let's kind of, let's, I'm going to wrap up Winged Warrior here. Uh-oh. This program is silly and has many silly things in it. Silly. 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 Well, that really tells me a lot about this. Kind of, you kind of phoned that one in. You kind of lost me on this one. Great. So, so silly. So wacky and zany. Hang on. Like this. Okay. I guess you can see that. Difficulty level. I'm gonna. Can I, oh, that's fine. I can see it. I don't get a how to play or. Fine. Okay. Higher or lower? Higher. The answer was one. Oh, is this just a high low? So the okay, so when it says easy one through five, that means they're gonna give me a number between one and five. Oh, so this is fucking um god damn it. Uh Card Sharks? That game show? It's gonna be lower. And we're at one again, so it'll be higher than one. And now it's at four, so it'll be lower than four. And it's at two, so it'll probably be higher than two. Now we're at four again, so it'll be lower than four. And we're at two, so it'll be higher than two. And as it turns out, it was one. So I don't know if the game will pick the number that's already there. I, it seems like that would probably break it. So there's a 25% chance that I was going to get it wrong, I guess. So if I hit medium and hit OK, <laughs> higher or lower than 10? Lower? Higher? Seven sucks. That's right there in the middle. Higher? Lower? Higher, higher again, it's at 15, so it has to be lower. Lower than eight, fuck it. I can change the language for some reason. Uh, lower than 26, higher than 11, lower than, t okay, well I died right away. The language options are English and American. Oh. You get it? 
it changed the difficulty levels. So it's on difficult, very hard, and impossible. And if you play it on difficult, the numbers are either one or two. You get it? You get it because Americans are stupid? Oh, I'm sorry. It's not my fault we figured out how to drop random ass fucking vowels out of words that don't need to be there. I know you guys may have invented English, but uh, we kind of cleaned it up for you because you know what the fuck you were doing. You're driving on the wrong ass side of the road. Who puts it? We even, you put an extra I in the word aluminum. You guys are fucking dumb over there, okay? Who fucking says aluminium? That doesn't even sound right. Even when, even when aluminum was first discovered, I am certain the person who said aluminium the first time, I am cer certain the dude right there next to him said, that doesn't sound right. What is that? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, why are you saying it that way? That sounds weird. Fuck y'all. Eliminate all the rats before they have a chance to mate and overrun the maze. To eliminate a rat, proper noun, pick up the objects which appear at random on the right hand side of the window by clicking the mouse on them and placing them in the maze. So we got... This just runs right off the CD, so we don't even have to install this one. Oh, Fandramon, not this game if it is what you think it is. Wait, you know this game? Uh-oh. Let's click on the flower button here. Okay, so... Click here. I want to put, it, put the bombs? Are they actually... Oh, fuck. They are banging. Holy shit! Those are the sound effects in the game. They put, like... Oh, no! There's more to the map! That's why I'm screwing this up. I thought they'd just walk in from the- I thought it was- I thought it was like Pac-Man. Yeah, Fandramon, I guess you were correct. You know what this game is because you're like, the audio for the rats mating is, is porn noises. Okay, so if they touch the nuclear waste, that just kills them, right? <laughs> Chernobyl. These sound effects are something else. Was that supposed to show something there, or...? Are those porn sound effects, though? Because those sound, like, hilariously exaggerated. Like, to the point of, like, somebody doing a really gross impression. I do like that the sound effect for the poison gas is just a, just a fart. That kind of matches the, uh... The theme of the game, I guess. With how juvenile it all is. I mean, that's the end of the level, right? Oh, no, there's more guys here. Hit him with the Chernobyl. -y. Uh oh, hang on, I hear porn sounds. Somebody's. Somebody left the Pornhub tab open. So this seems like a level where, like. No. <laughs> That's that's one way to shut sexy time down real fast. Just 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 rip a wet one like that. Whoa, is this 3D? The greatest adrenaline rush ever. Take a boat down some of the most violent and dangerous waterways in the world with only a paddle to save you. Hit me. Warning, this program is designed for Windows 95 or 98. Well, then it's, we got 99 great games for Windows XP. Oh, shit. Hang on, this looks cool. Wait, this game is sponsored by... Oh, no, no, hang on. No, we gotta go quick. It said it was sponsored by Intel. My Pentium. It's all about the Pentiums. Does that legit... Is that... Is that real arcade up there in the top? Like the old real player thing? I didn't mean to... I didn't click on any... Holy, wait, hang on. Oh, this is demo mode. That didn't look too extreme. <laughs> Euphoria? Oh, not available in the demo. Apparently this is a real game. So we got Euphoria, that's all we got. We could pick a different paddle. Stick. Also not available, none of these, so we got stick, okay. 
Alpine, let me guess. We got... Okay, I'm beginning to see a pattern here. It's an awful slow countdown. Oh, okay, well, it kind of went fast there. Just use the arrow keys. I mean, I kind of, I kind of get it. <laughs> Wasn't there... Uh-oh. Get out of there! Get out of there! I, I think serpentining makes you go... Like, he's actually paddling when I do that. So I think that's how you... Yeah. You definitely have to hit left and right to do this. Wasn't there, wasn't there supposed to be like a kayaking game or something for the Nintendo 64 that like didn't get released because it was a kayak game for the Nintendo fucking 64? Oh no, get! Okay, well, sorry, I missed the Intel Pentium 4 gate. <laughs> Sponsored by Intel Pentium 4. <laughs> oh shit. This, this, this kayak is more of a, it's more of a Celeron, I think. If you catch my drift. How do I do a, how do I steer the boat? I got I'm getting spun around. <laughs> Shit, come on, man. Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting when I when I picked this game. Hang on, we got to hit the Pentium gate again. The, yeah, there we go. The tide is turning. Because there's tide between on this river on the rocks. Oh, shit, look at these cars. Looks so realistic. It's like it really is a Ford Bronco parked up there on the hill. I don't know what I was expecting when I clicked on Kayak Extreme. I, I don't think I was expecting a 3D game where you actually got to do a kayak, though. I mean, it's, this is kind of cool. I still feel like I don't understand how to play it. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Jump off a waterfall, who gives a shit? It's extreme, your penny will save you. I mean, I guess they went with kayaking, because, like... Was kayaking ever popular in the 90s? Was it, like, a thing? I know that, like, jet skis were a thing. Which is why, like, Wave Race was... something. Wave Race 64. That was cool. I feel like you probably could have gotten, you know, a little, turned a few more heads until if you got was, did, did some jet skis. Just license the uh, the jet ski brand. Oh my God! I can save this current track as a ghost, so we can we can definitely save this and then go back and watch it and watch when I swim through the the, the rock butt crack formation in the water there. Oh, I do get no. There's a training course. Well, let's do. Wait. I swear to God there was a training course. What the fuck happened to it? Uh. You guys saw that too. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What happened to my... My training course? I, I was... There. It's training stadium. Okay, I'm gonna hit... I'm gonna hit go so that I don't lose it again. Oh yeah, look, we got like Barbie. Dun 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 dun. Barbie's going really fucking fast. I. She's gonna beat me. Or maybe not. Did she just crash into the goddamn wall? I can't. <laughs> oh, it's so extreme. Oh, get it, get it, get it. I don't know if I got it. I don't think it's gonna count that. Barbie's trying to find Ken. I'm right here, Barbie. Wait up, Barbie. I can't do this. I can't paddle. Barbie's good at everything she does. She does kayaking. She rides a horse. Speaking of horseback riding, there's, there are a lot of really good Ken dolls out there, okay? There's, a, there's one Ken doll. He's dressed like a cowboy. You can Google this. Uh, maybe you probably shouldn't Google this. The name of the toy... Go on eBay. You'll find them on eBay. That's a little That's a little safer of a bet. It's called Horse Lovin' Ken. And he's dressed like a gay cowboy. And he's named Horse Lovin' Ken. And then they did like a... Like, like, like a club scene Ken. And I shit you not. 
He's just dressed like a gay dude. <laughs> like, simple as that. And Barbie had her fair share of fuck-ups, too. Because I distinctly remember, at one point, there was, uh... They did, um... They had, like, promotional tie-ins with different brands. So Barbie would dress up in a set of clothing kind of themed after the colors or the style of, of, of the brand, the, the trademark. And they did one for Oreo. And you know Barbie's... There's, there's more people than just Barbie. She's got her friend. She's got Ken. She's got that little shit sister named Kelly or something. Barbie has other friends one of whom is black and they chose to use her for the Oreo one. That didn't go over too well. <laughs> Anyways, that's super extreme kayaking brought to you by Pentium 4 in the real arcade. Collect as many objects as possible and avoid getting burned. This looks like a crappy Mario. It runs right off the CD, so this will be a good this will be this will be a good one to end on cuz I won't have to do a whole lot with it. I mean, god, why is that so fucking sm hang on. Give me a second here. I mean, I know this looks big for you guys cuz I've blown it up on this stream, but it's literally like a Game Boy screen and I'm sitting across the room. I can't see this crap. All right, I still can't see this crap. Press any key. Oh my, it's even tinier, because it's like letter... Can I resize the window? You fucker. Don't give me the option, you piece of shit. You just, it just puts black around. I know that the game is called Mini Man. But holy shit. I can't... Right, left, up, space, okay. Dude, I, this is explosion.gif. I don't hear any sound effects, so there might not be any. Was I just walking on? Okay, yeah, you can. Uh, okay, that's a good game. I, I'm, I'm assuming there's unlimited lives in this game. Because I fucking hell, as I think the person who made it knows that they made garbage. Now I jumped into the floor. Alright, so it doesn't look like the, the tokens respawn when you pick them up and, and then die. So, I mean, maybe we can clear the first level. That would be a good stopping point. Just, you know, we could just do like that. I don't know what the fuck just happened right there, but okay. I fall through a lot of things in this game. I, I don't know how you make a platformer that has just, you know, no collision detection, but this person managed to. Like, this this is on the same CD as, like, Kayaking Extreme. Like, the game that we were just playing, that we were having so much fun doing. This, this, is, on, this is also on the disc. How do I get that coin down there? Oh, shit, we got it, okay. I think that's the one I couldn't get earlier. Alright, oh, let me just go, go straight down. I think that's the last coin. And then we'll, we'll finally be free of this bullshit. Don't tell me there's more. Okay, there's one here. You win. That's a hell of an ending. I don't know if it was worth it, but... <laughs> that's the end of the game. You know, I think because nobody even knows that this game exists, I think we are the, the I'm the de facto world record holder uh, for for Mini Man. Great. Okay, let me. Uh, good lord. Thanks for checking out this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Either way, your feedback is appreciated. And you can also subscribe to Gator Box if you like this content and want to see more of it from us. Catch us live Friday nights at 9 p.m. Central at twitch.tv forward slash Gator Box. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash Gator Box or streamlabs.com forward slash Gator Box.